Earth scientists say Australians are complacent when it comes to preparing for a tsunami hitting the eastern coastline. Experts are now studying what happened in Japan and say coastal communities should be armed with up-to-date evacuation plans. Australia's eastern coastline is almost 4,000 kilometres long and it has been hit by tsunamis in the past. No fewer than 77 tsunamis have actually been recorded on the east coast of Australia since uh, about 1858. Most have gone unnoticed but earth scientists say there's evidence of monster waves in far north Queensland. We have the geological record of huge boulders which have been thrown up far in onto the beach by tsunamis which can be estimated to have had a height of 10 metres. He says coral reefs offer little protection from mammoth waves but since the Banda Aceh disaster in Indonesia, Australian waters are now equipped with early warning monitors. Which would now, are now fully operational and would give us significant warning for such an event. After a huge earthquake in the Solomon Islands four years ago, Queensland's coastal communities were put on alert. But only half of the residents in North Queensland took any precautions. It's a very frightening statistic. Um, if it was significant, um, the consequences obviously are, are quite severe when we're looking at our, our lower lying beach suburbs. Yet a Gertner says preparation and time to escape are paramount. For an effective evacuation from a coastal community like ours, you're looking at about three and a half hours. When Cyclone Yazi hit North Queensland, parts of Townsville were swamped by a tidal surge of just over a metre. But back then, residents had more than a day to prepare. The scientists will hold public information sessions in Townsville next week to help raise awareness. Josh Babis, ABC News, Townsville.